What is up? Hello. I haven't made a video in a while. The uh, channel has been relatively inactive. But I would like to take this moment and do a little catch up. As you can see here, this is my beta. He's a little old. And this is actually a new tank I set up. Currently in college, so. Nano tank. It is a two gallon, I believe, made by Phoenix. Phoenix, uh, I'm not really sure. I don't remember. I'll show you guys the brand. Um, but yeah, this is my little tank, little planted aquarium. Um, I like the genius I am. Actually, just bought plants from a. A local fish store back in my um, city before I moved out. Oh man, and you tore your fin. Don't know where, but you tore your fins. Um, they told me all these plants were low light. I know these. Um, these are. There's one in the back there. They've been floating around. I got some duckweed. Um. I don't know what these were called. But if someone can like just ID those for me, that'd be awesome. I'm also not really sure what these are. Um, like I said, if you guys could ID these two for me, that would be great. Oh, the name of these escapes me right now. They should all be low level. I got some leaves floating around. I'm not too keen on them. Um, on having those floating around, they'll eventually be torn apart, fall into the ground, into my substrate, and be picked up by the plants. It is a little dirty, but that's on the inside, not the outside, so I can't really do much about it. It's, um, full makes it look a lot greener than it is, but the plants seem to be doing fine. This one got a little messed up, um, at, uh, 13 gallon, 12 gallon, 6 gallon, 6 gallon eclipse system, I'm not even sure, and the lighting in that is not really adequate, and I had a ghetto rigged, um, uh, one of those coil bulbs for plants, but it wasn't doing the job, and that tank was too big to bring, so, I like the smaller nano tank, it's a, like I said, it was a, I believe it's a 2 gallon, oh, he's hungry, it's, um, Sort of just threw plants in there, you know, giving it very little thought as to where they went. I made sure that this part back here was sort of clear of stuff because he likes to hang out over there. Ugh, I don't know if you can see the brand here. Phoenix. Phoenix is the brand, actually. Aquarium I'm using. I'm using a. Cream. Um, soil for the actual plants that's uh, nutritious. And I got that piece of driftwood. There's some um, small pieces of java f uh, moss going back in there. I'm not giving you a close up of that. I used to have a big bunch. See it there. It's a strand that's growing. I used to have a big bunch, but um, there's another strand. But I was uh, overrun with uh, algae that was turning. I was overrunning the tank, which is also why some of these leaves on some of these guys are pretty beat up because I had to clean it off. The tank doesn't look necessarily clean, but it is what it is for now. I just moved in a couple days ago, so. I might rearrange stuff, might not. Um, yeah. Any questions or comments, just let me know. Um, there's the other plants. As like you see, the leaves are a little bit beat up. Like I said, I had to rub off the, uh, clean off the algae that was growing on it. 
for a couple of days these plants without or without lights too so they don't look too healthy but they're coming back probably feed this guy but yeah it's a little update um there's a lot of stuff i haven't shown on my channel in a while oh yeah if anybody would want to watch uh youtube videos of my banner fish he's about to be too soon so he's an old guy he's thinking about throwing up at the camera he, he doesn't really like my phone uh, all right guys if you have any questions or anything um this was actually bought as a kit comes with the um two to five gallon filter the led lights it should be enough light for this tank considering doing a seal too but we'll see about that all right guys if there's anything you want to know just let me know if you guys are going to do those plants that'd be awesome but um yeah check you guys out later